Lance Alexander Sr. sat singing along with his car radio as he waited to pick up his son, Junior. He was totally distracted by the music. He didn't see the man jump in his car till it was too late. What are you doing in my car? Drive. I'm waiting for my son. Hit the road, Jack. Forget him and drive. The stranger pulled a gun on Lance. You don't want to do this, mate. Do you think you're a magician? I'm worse. Lance smiled darkly as he stared. The car sped off. Lance was worse than a magician. They were heroes. He was wanted by the police as a serial killer. His son saw his car speed away. Okay, I'll take myself home then. Junior disappeared into thin air, teleporting home. Meanwhile in the car, the carjacker was terrified, thinking he had chosen the wrong car to carjack. The owner was insane and had some sort of death wish. He was all over the road like a madman and had a devil-may-care attitude with the carjacker. Let me out of here? I'll not hurt you if you let me go. You said you wanted me to drive. Lance spoke in a mock hurt tone as he locked the doors and drove on. This is kidnapping. You should have thought of that before you kidnapped me. You're a madman. I've been called that before. Lance skidded the car to a stop to let a duck family cross the road and sped off when they were gone. This confused the carjacker. Why bother the innocents? Lance read the bandit's mind a while later. Lance saw a police station and turned the steering wheel sharply. Are you insane? Asked the carjacker. Seeing what Lance was doing, he let out a blood-curdling loud scream. Meanwhile, two policemen were talking about the odd scream they heard outside as they had lunch and were wondering if they should go out and check it. Lance looked like a madman totally now as he drove his car into the police station. As they were about to crash, the carjacker closed his eyes. What just happened? Said the first policeman, hardly believing what had just happened. I don't know, said the second. Out of the office came the officer in charge of the station, walking to the car. What is this car doing in here? Asked the CO, seeing the people in the car, he screamed. Arrest him now. I can't open the door, let alone arrest anyone. Allow me, said Lance, teleporting the car away. Lance and the carjacker appeared in empty desk chairs. The carjacker had fainted. What is the meaning of this enchanter? Lance was one of the magicians. In his daylight persona, he was the hero, the enchanter. He moonlighted as the secret assassin known as the necromancer, but the police didn't know they were the same man. I was carjacked, so I took my carjacker here to you, the men in blue, huh? I mean black. The police wore black uniforms now. Why did you have to drive into here? I was trying to scare my passenger out of crime by acting like a mad hoon. So it was you hooning around town? I was. I didn't see anyone else, said Lance. So you admit to a criminal act, do you, boy? Said the local coroner who was there on business. I was driving on a different plane of existence, so I couldn't do any damage or hurt anyone. So that's how you drove the car in here without ruining the place or anyone? Yes. I said arrest him. An all too enthusiastic policeman tried to arrest Lance, who shook his head and looked at the CO. Not him, the CO said and pointed at the waking carjacker. Him? The coroner looked disappointed that Lance wasn't being arrested. One day, Dad, in your dreams, said Lance in the head of the coroner, his father, who knew his son's secret. He's a madman. Take me away from him. I want to go back to prison. The carjacker was a prison escapee. That was why he'd carjacked to run. He was returned to prison happily, and Lance lost two demerit points off his license for bad driving.